Hey guys, I got this uh, little USB mic, it's got off eBay a while back. I had a bit of a play with it, but it was the quality was a bit meh, the image quality wasn't the greatest, so I just chucked it into the parts bin and forgot about it, but I just found it again, and I thought we'd uh, take it apart and see what's inside. There's a usual uh, thing where you got this, kind of like a suction cap to stick it down to the uh, the bench, and, um, and it's got the uh, the focus or the zoom or whatever that you know, thing comes in and out, focus it and zooms in and out. You got the uh, snap button to take a photo, but of course when you zoomed right in, you press the button and it moves and then the whole image is all out of place. And a zoom button, I think that might be a digital zoom. And then it's got the uh, control here for the brightness of the eight LEDs. So you can see there, there's some LEDs around the little camera bit that sticks in and out. So yeah, let's pull this thing apart, see what makes it tick and see if there's any useful parts inside to salvage. So it popped open pretty easy. You can see the part here for uh, zooming and the, the main lens assembly with the infrared filter on the top. That screws in. You can actually screw that in and out to focus it. But this part here is a little bit interesting. The way it works is we've got these two brass rods which stick through two holes in there, kind of like that. And then as you turn it, it's got like a groove on the inside that that center carrier moves up and down on. So if I put it this way, you'll see it comes up and down. It's kind of like threading a, a nut onto a bolt, but this is inside out. So the, the nut is kind of on the inside and the bolt's on the outside. It's like inverted. So that way, as you turn this, it's moving further and closer to the uh, CCD or the uh, CMOS chip, the image sensor. And then it um, alters your, your field of view and your uh, zoom and everything. So there's two brass rods which are screwed to the circuit board. It's kind of not very straight at all. So that could probably do with a bit of tweaking if you ever get one of these and you want to take it apart yourself. But they're also used to deliver 5 volts to our um, LED ring here. So that's actually marked 5 volts on the PCB. Now a pretty bad soldering job. So it might do with a, a touch with a soldering iron if you've got one. But um, yeah, that does feeding 5 volts on the ground to this board here. So I'll, um, I'll dismantle these plugs and the, these rods and we'll get a close up of this board. It's got some hot snot on here to hold the plugs in, but that won't be too much of a problem. It's pretty weak stuff. So here we are, all up close and personal with a PCB. Down the bottom here, we've got a uh, I squared C EE prom. It's a, a 24C64, and it's about 8 kilobits. That's uh, going to be holding all the firmware and the settings and all that sort of thing. Then up here, we've got the microprocessor. I, I couldn't actually find this online. It's a uh, Wotung, a W O T N G. That's what's written on there and then it's a 30-06 so I'm I'm not sure what brand that is if that's the Watung is a brand or if that's just an acronym or something but that's gonna be uh, running the whole show that's the uh, the microprocessor for the whole thing and here well this one is the uh, image sensor and this turns out to be a uh, GC0308 it's a Galaxy Core brand and it's apparently it's a 1 slash 6.5 inch what's that 1 6.5 inch I, I'm I'm not sure, apparently it's a standard size, but it's a, a VGA CMOS image sensor and it's only 640 by 480. So um, the uh, HD claims are pretty much bullshit, as I expected. 640 by 480, that's like VGA resolution, it's pretty low. This chip's going to be pretty cheap. But um, it's good for 30 frames a second apparently, and it's got an onboard little microprocessor, so you've got two-wire protocol between the uh, chip and the uh, microprocessor, and it does like YCBCR and it does uh, you know 422 encoding and all that sort of stuff so it seems like it's like a nice chip it's just an old one and it's just low resolution it's got some good protocols and that so it's relatively flexible but yeah just outdated and on the back of here if we flip that over we have got not much we've got the two switches here the uh, zoom switch and the snap switch the snapshot switch We've got our main power in and our data out. And then this one here is for the LEDs. So I showed you before there was a uh, potentiometer on the uh, cable, this one here. Now what's happening is that's coming in on a separate wire, the voltage, because it's split off up in the, in the cable. And so there's a, a constant 5 volts here, which is coming straight from the USB port. But in the wire where that uh, potentiometer is, that's being split 
and then fed here separately. So when you dial that potentiometer up and down, it's varying the voltage here, which then dials your uh, brightness up and down respectively. Now you can see there's some unpopulated pads here all the way around, or pretty much on the whole board. I'm not sure what this is for, but I'm going to take a stab and guess that it's for a software control of the LEDs as a uh, upgraded option. There's um, just here and just here, there's a footprints for two transistors, so that would indicate it's switching something with a bit of power behind it, and that would indicate possibly the LEDs, because that's the only thing that needs a bit of power switching. And it's probably like a some sort of chip that would do pulse width modulation or something like that on these uh, transistors, then vary those uh, those LEDs. But it's not populated here, so I've got no real idea. I'm just guessing. And um, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. But here's our LED ring. So we've got the uh, 5 volts in and the ground, and that was really dry joint. You can see I didn't even have to desolder it to, to pull that side out. And just uh, 8 LEDs. It's rated for use at 5 volts, so they'll be probably series parallel or something, all ganged up to be um, to be properly specced so that they get the 5 volts in and then they work at that. Because there's no resistors at all. It's, uh, what's this? Cooling Tech LED, made in 2014. I think on this one it was uh, Cooling Tech 30W, and that was made in 2015. So yeah, I might keep those LEDs. They could come in handy, actually. So there's a quick tear down and look inside. A uh, cheap eBay little USB microscope. Might be useful for some parts, but um, yeah. For use as a microscope, they're pretty how you're doing. But, no, yeah, I'm sure they're useful for something. Alright guys, don't forget that Patreon we got going. Keep watching the videos, and we'll see you next time.